Welcome to the next video in the Space Combat Kit Quick Start Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up trackable objects in the scene and track them on your vehicle's radar. There are three main components involved. First of all, we need to add a Radar Scene Manager component to the scene. This component, which is a singleton, meaning there's only ever one of them in the scene, stores all of the trackable objects in the scene so they can be easily and efficiently accessed by other scripts. Let's create a new game object as child of the scene level components game object and name it Radar Scene Manager. Then, go to the Project tab and navigate to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Universal Vehicle Combat, Radar, and drag the Radar Scene Manager component onto the new game object. There won't be anything to set in the inspector here, as this component simply stores all the trackable objects to be accessed by other scripts. Next, we need to add a Radar component to our vehicle. Go to the Project tab and navigate to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Universal Vehicle Combat, Radar, and drag the Radar component onto our vehicle. You'll see a bunch of settings there that you can modify, such as the Radar Range. There's only one thing we really need to do here. Click on the Selectable Types field. This field contains a list of all the trackable types that this vehicle's radar can set as the selected target. Note that your vehicle can track all the trackable types in the scene, but can only select as a target the types contained on this list. We'll add a value here, so set the size to 1. The value, which is an enum, defaults to the ship trackable type, which means that our vehicle can now track ships in the scene. If you click on this enum value, you'll see waypoints in there too as an option. However, we do not want to select a waypoint as a target, so we'll leave that as ship. Also, you can add more trackable types to this trackable type enum, which can be found on a script named iTrackable, which we'll get to in a moment. Then, you can add those types to the list here so that your vehicle can select them as a target. Finally, we need some trackable objects in the scene. Trackable objects are stored and accessed as instances of the iTrackable interface. So this means that any object that needs to be tracked must have a component on it that implements the iTrackable interface. Also, very importantly, every trackable object must register with the Radar Scene Manager when it is created in the scene. If you go to the vehicle component on the ship, the vehicle is already trackable as it implements the iTrackable interface. You can see all the settings here, including a bunch of fields that contain mesh and texture data that is used to display this trackable as a holographic target on the HUD of another vehicle. The kit also includes a generic component that you can use for making an object trackable. If you go to the Project tab and navigate to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Universal Vehicle Combat, Radar, Trackable, you'll see a component named Demo Trackable. You can add this component to any object in the scene to make it trackable. We'll create an example for our vehicle to track. Create a cube in the scene and drag it a bit somewhere in front of the player. We'll scale it up to something like 10 to make it more visible. Then we'll go to the Demo Trackable component here in our Project tab and drag it onto the cube. That's all it takes to make a new object trackable in the scene. You can modify a bunch of things in the inspector here, but the only thing we'll do is set the team to enemy so that our ship's radar selects it immediately as a target. We can then run the scene. However, you'll see that nothing happens. Although our ship is tracking the target and has selected it as the selected target, we have no way to visualize that yet. So in the next video, we'll add a HUD to our ship so that we can see all of the trackable objects in the scene.